Last year, I had to come up with a, a car crash scene for a, a little feature iClone film a gentleman was working on. Uh, I'd never done that, and uh, the physics properties had just been added to iClone, iClone 5. It took me about a week to get the props together, a week and a half maybe, get all the props together and the elements that I kind of wanted to use, and then another couple of weeks trying to figure out how in the world to make a somewhat realistic car crash. This certainly isn't the only way. There's probably a much better way to do this. With the physics toolbox product available, you probably can come up with a much better car crash, more realistic, utilizing the ragdoll avatar features, figures. Uh, you should be able to come up with realistic body movement within a car uh, as it would, would crash, and that would probably be better. But this is what I did uh, in the uh, about a month time. Uh, created this particular sequence which uh, works okay and uh, hopefully you can get some ideas and certainly improve on it and uh, make it uh, much better than I did. Okay here's the uh, basic layout that I used when I created the car wreck. Uh, we've got kinematic objects and we have a couple of dynamic objects. The vehicles are represented here with these little crude uh, cubes, as it were, and everything else is kinematic, and the kinematic objects are pushing the dynamic objects. The uh, green kinematic objects are going to push the uh, little Porsche Boxster, and the yellow kinematic objects are going to be pushing the truck. And uh, when you run the simulation, uh, you get, hopefully, a somewhat realistic car crash sequence. And so that's what I did. I kept experimenting with different uh, positions and speeds and uh, got something that I thought was okay and uh, used it and I simply then attached the actual objects to these dynamic objects and uh, kinematic objects in some cases and uh, created the car crash that way. Uh, let's see here. You can see this kinematic object is going to push the truck. This kinematic object is going to lift the truck when the barrel explodes this kinematic object will push the car in the way of the truck when it the, the driver would like see the barrel fall off the truck and try to avoid that it spin into the truck and that would cause that particular movement and then over the guardrail so that's the basis of what I did and then I simply attached objects the correct object the visual object to these dummy objects and as I said they're dummies uh, they can be turned on and off by hitting the uh, control uh, D key, and so they'll disappear. Okay, here we have placed uh, pretty much everything in place. Made a few little modifications to the dynamic shapes, but everything's basically the same. The kinematic objects push them along. They are going to fall off. Now, of course, the rocks are kinematic. The terrain here is kinematic, so uh, takes on uh, the correct bounce, as it were, uh, against those objects. Uh, a little section of the wall here has been made into a kinematic object. And uh, let's try another angle here. You can see right here. Uh, modified the kinematic shape of the truck. Probably should have put a little something here for the cab because the cab kind of goes into the ground, but uh, kind of ran out of time. Uh, but you can see the uh, yellow kinematic object pushing the truck along. The, the barrels are dynamic. The uh, bed of the truck was kinematic, so the barrels react pretty normally. Uh, I did add a few keyframes to one of the barrels because it kind of collided. Went through the truck bed at one point, so I did a little manual tweaking there, which you'll probably have to do. Do something like this. Uh, added a few keyframes to that dynamic barrel there. And then, of course, uh, we can hit the Control D key, turn off the dummy objects, and then it's just a matter of picking your camera angles, setting up the shot, to get the right effect. And as I said, if you had ragdoll rag uh, avatars, you could probably then create some real nice movement of the uh, victims in the car crash to keep that more realistic. And it was just a matter of uh, finding the correct simulation aspects, keep running the simulation over and over again until you get one you like, and then bake it. 
So uh, hopefully this will help. This will give you some ideas. Uh, you'll be able to do a much better job than I did on this. Uh, be able to tweak it out and make it look even more realistic. So thanks for checking it out.